here with Strawberry Creek Shrimp Farm kind of closing up for the winter here. In the meantime, I wanted to take you on a little tour of kind of how the season went here in 2016. We'll take a tour of some of the harvest on September 30th that we had with some of our farmers in North Carolina and Virginia. So, look forward to talking to you at the end of the video. Okay, so this is the baby shrimp. We filmed these about a week after they were put in. They were put in around April 1st. And they'll stay in these tanks here for about 45 to 60 days. And you can see them swimming around all happily. We have the nets in there. That helps keep them off the bottom when they're molting and gives them a little place to hide away. So we start out our harvest at Thompson's Prawn Farm out in Cedar Grove, North Carolina. Joe's been growing prawn now for 10 years. And here's a couple aerial views of his pond. I think one of them is uh, two acres, I wanna say, maybe not quite. And the other one is probably an acre. And you can see how the water is draining down. So the ponds are sloped, so all the water drains out through the pipe there. In this particular pond, Joe has netting and substrate laid out, so it gives, again, the shrimp somewhere to get. Kind of hang on and graze so they're not all on the bottom of the pond all at one time. You can see everybody kind of standing around waiting for him to come out. You can see his catch base is there in the back. And his drain and the water slowly come down. And waiting, waiting, waiting. You can see here some of the first ones coming out and the water running through his catch basin there as they get down in with nets. They catch them as they come out. Just kind of sped up a little bit just for the sake of time so we didn't make this video too awful long. And at this point they're not catching a whole lot of them because the prawn will, as you can see in this video, they're here, they're kind of all just hanging out to that last bit of water. Here's a really nice blue claw male that came out. You can see Looks like Joe had some really nice shrimp this year. And big blue claw males, you can see they get some huge claws, that's why they gotta have a pretty good amount of room for them to grow because uh, they can reach a long ways with those pinchers and grab other, sh other uh, shrimp. And here you can see as the water's coming down, they're starting to pile up even more and more and more jumping around, just really not wanting to come out to that last bit of water. You can drain the pond and stand in that catch basin all day and only get a couple, but they really will pile up on that last bit of water. Here you can see they're really fighting, coming out with that last bit of flow there. Joe has pretty good sized pipe so it seems like the water at the end is running out pretty quick so you'll see a lot of them start jumping there beaching themselves they just refuse to go down that pipe for some reason they don't like the current so they swim away from it here you can see in a perfect world most of your shrimp will come out in that last bit but there will always be some to pick up. Uh, Joe has so much coming out here at one time that they're actually just beaching themselves. But at least they're in one kind of confined area so you can pretty well get out and pick up what's left. And in this case, Joe had quite a bit jumping on the banks. So... 
get out there with a basket and pick them up. And while that's going on, while they're jumping, there's still a lot coming through the pipe. You'll see here in a minute that they'll be catching them in the catch basin. So yeah, Joe's got a pretty good little harvest there. And here they are catching them in the catch basin as well. So once you get them caught up and picked up, you want to get them into the fresh, clean water so they can purge for a while. You want to try to keep them in there at least 15 to 20 minutes. Let them get that mud off of them. Then once you do that, you'll put them in a fresh batch of water to, with ice to chill kill them. This kills them instantly. And you want to leave them in there about 15 minutes as well to make sure that they get good and cold and keeps that meat from going mushy and nice and fresh and here's some more you know Joe's got some really good shrimp now we went out to Kevin Owens this is some of Kevin's shrimp Kevin's got a little different setup he's got a wood box that he catches his in and you can see it's kind of the same deal get him in the fresh water he had a real nice harvest did about 500 pounds of shrimp here's where kind of putting them in to purge them a little bit getting them all together and then he will take and get them in even the clean water for a while let them purge out and then after they purge for a while you can see he's got tubs there with ice and then he puts them in the baskets in the ice water kills them off make sure he has a good firm product to go out to market and that was pretty much a couple of the tours of our 2016 harvest all right i hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to know more about raising freshwater prawns just click on our link below visit our website at strawberrycreekshrimpfarm.com and we have more information as well as some ebooks and things you can purchase to learn more about growing freshwater prawns. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.